Armed American Radio's Daily Defense. Armed American Radio's Daily Defense, because they don't want me to, that's why I do it. Presented by X Insurance. X Insurance. From the GunBroker.com studio. On the Crossbreed Holsters Platinum Microphone. They're never going to stop us here. It's 2021, and we're in a new decade. Here is your host, the loudest conservative voice in America fighting the enemies of freedom, Mark Walters. 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 Welcome inside Armed American Radio's Daily Defense. The GunBroker.com studios lit up for you on this Crossbreed Holsters microphone. I am Mark Walters filling your prescription for freedom across America today on dozens of radio stations. All of it brought to you today by X Insurance. Daniel Defense, the giveaway. You've gotten in on it. Yep, a patriot is a patriot is the code. Patriot is the code. And here's the cool part. Just visit DanielDefense.com slash sweepstakes. That'll take you right there. See, I'm not even pushing you through to the other site now. I want you to get in on here. And a lot of you have. I got a ton of email today. Don't miss out. I don't know why everybody pushes this stuff off to the last couple minutes. I guess it's just human nature. And I'm guilty of that too. I'm I'm guilty of that too. I I put it, I I do that in a lot of things in life, but um, it's more fun, right? It's more of a thrill for the ride, I guess. But here's the deal. Enter the word Patriot. That's the secret code. Get a thousand entries to win the Daniel Defense M4A1. You have one day left to do it. That's it. This is it. Coming to a head. I want Armed American Radio listener to be the one to win this gun. And many of you are. Many of you are are, are getting in there and, and jumping in the mix. Before we go to some of the things I want to talk about today, we're supposed to have Dave Workman jumping in. He has not yet called. Hopefully we'll get a hold of Dave. If not, there's a couple, whether he's here or not, there's a couple of things I want to talk about with him. I'll talk about them with you, but I'm hopeful we'll get him in. I want to get his perspective. But before I get going today, I do you ever just, and I can't stand doing this. I have to admit I hate doing it. I yell at my kids for doing it. Get off the phones. Do you have to carry that stupid thing with you everywhere you go? Do you? And, of course, that turns into a contest. Well, I'm just sitting here doing it. Get off the You don't need your phone to do that. Now, I've gotten good, frankly. i, I got to be honest with you. I'm proud of myself of not relying on these things, getting them out of my pocket. You know, you get that dopey report. I have an iPhone 12, and you get that iPhone report. Your screen time is down eight hours, and I look and see how much I'm on it anyway, and that really irks me. But it's good to see I'm down eight hours. Eight hours, that's a full work day. Think about that. Should never be doing that. And I've lived most of my life without these stupid devices anyway. But, again, these are the downfall. While they're very powerful, I had an old business partner years ago that said these things are going to kill America. They're going to they're gonna ruin our kids, and he was right. He was right. But I, I fight with my kids about this. I'm sure if you have kids, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You probably wrestle in your own head with these stupid phones. And how, you know, how far has it gotten? I don't know. Let me just read you something here because there's a, 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 a oh, yeah, I don't want to get jump ahead of myself here. I have this on my phone. So let me just go here. It's a, it was a terrible thing. NBA all-star Andre Drummond saves two-year-old son who fell into pool, a parent's worst nightmare. The person that wrote this, it's a Fox News piece. I say it's a Fox News piece, but it's not. It's a piece written for Fox News by somebody named Paulina Didash. I don't know who she is. Couldn't care less. But the headline is, NBA All-Star Andre Drummond saves two-year-old son who fell in a pool, a parent's worst nightmare. What does this have to do with phones? You'll see in just a second. But apparently, he, he plays for the 76ers. No, I, am, I'm, I no longer watch basketball. I don't watch any of it. But this is human interest stuff. This has nothing to do with him being NBA. This is just because he's an NBA player, a little bit more high profile, this kind of stuff comes out. Philadelphia 76ers center Andre Drummond shared the terrifying moment his toddler fell into a pool and his quick reaction just seconds later that saved the two-year-old's life. And this is dramatic video. And if you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Me coming from Florida up to Georgia, always around a pool, always around a pool. And it is a worse nightmare. And it happens down there, sadly, far too often that kids fall in the pool. But he's a two-time all-star, not that that matters to the story. But he shared a home surveillance video on Twitter today that showed the very moment his two-year-old son, Dion, fell into a pool, and he called it a parent's worst nightmare. So let me describe this. The cameras, high definition, 
picture, a, I don't know, like a sliding glass door or something leading into a home. The camera above that looking down on the pool and it's high definition. You don't see the, dro- the, the doors or anything, but you can imagine that's where the camera is above those doors leading into the home. Clearly, because he came flying out, whatever that is, obviously doors. And his son sitting on the corner of the pool and a woman, presumably girlfriend, sister, family, friend, doesn't matter, sitting just feet away with her feet in the water and his two-year-old son sitting on the corner of the pool. So you got the visual radio is theater of the mind. And the camera's looking down at this when the kid starts to mumble around, bumble around like two-year-olds do and immediately falls face first into the pool. Within a split second, Andre Drummond comes flying out of that room that below the camera, presumably a door or something like that, or from a table or something, comes flying out and winds up into the pool, fully clothed, shoes, socks, shirt, pants, of course. He's not going to stand there and get undressed and jump in the pool when his two-year-old is face down in the water. So the, the video is dramatic. I watched it a couple times. And then I went back to look and reading at the piece. The boy is seen sitting on the edge of the pool with adults surrounding him, but in just a quick second, he falls in. In the blink of an eye, Drummond jumps in, clothes, shoes, and all, and pulls his son out. Hopefully, he didn't have his phone on him. Seriously? Hopefully, he didn't have his phone on him? Okay, what is this moron's name? I couldn't see at the phone. I just It's, ah! Glad he saved his son. Hopefully he didn't ruin his phone. He was fully clothed. So this woman who writes this obviously had this in her mind. My God, I hope he didn't have his phone. Can you imagine this? Maybe she doesn't have kids. I don't know. So I thought maybe maybe I'm missing something here. Let me keep reading. No, 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 nothing. It just hopefully he was fully clothed. Hopefully he didn't have his phone on him. So this is where we are today. What does that have to do with guns? It doesn't have a damn thing to do with guns. What it has to do with, what a sad, pathetic state of affairs we're in today when an adult is even thinking about a phone in someone's pocket at a moment like that. I, oh, I can't even be on. I, I, okay. The reason I mentioned that today is because I was – I was yelling at my kids yesterday about their phones and, and all that. And I saw that today and it, it wasn't, that didn't even come up on one of my alerts that says I was just kind of uh, pleasure cruising the internet or surfing the internet, looking for goofy stuff. And lo and behold, I found it. Wow. Parents worst nightmare. My son jumped in. God, you know, I, I my phone is my son. Okay. Where's my phone? This is where we are today, man. It's, it's just a sad, 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 pathetic, sick, state of affairs. Uh, It has nothing to do with guns. There's a piece today that I want to cover with you with or without Dave. We'll see if we can get Dave on, but I didn't talk to you about this days back more than likely by design because it's a, it's a touchy subject. 55% of Republicans back potential use of force to preserve American way of life. This came out the last week of July. And I kind of want to go here with you today a little bit. And if we're fortunate enough to have Dave on, because he wrote a nice piece about it, I think we could probably spend the remainder of the hour on it. Because it speaks volumes, doesn't it? 55% of Republicans, now you know me with polls. I wasn't polled. I am a Republican. So maybe it makes it 54.599%. I don't know, because I wasn't polled, maybe. And I'm not a big fan of these numbers. However... If they interviewed 1,000 people and 550 said that, it's, it's alarming. But I don't think it's shocking to you as an Armed American Radio listener. Because I'll be honest with you, when I saw it, it wasn't shocking to me either. In fact, I'm surprised the number was as low as it was, 55%. I could have easily, if someone had asked me to guess, hey, Mark, uh, there was a poll done uh, with uh, 10,000 Republicans. What do you think the number was that would uh, back potential use of force? to uh, preserve the American way of life. I would have said 75 to 85%. So 55% to me seems a little bit low. However, you can read a little bit into this because there's independents and others, and the number's higher than 55. But they're willing to preserve their way of life with force. What does that tell us about where we are today? 
We're going to talk about that today. Dave wrote it. We'll go into his piece, which is his opinion on that, and we'll talk about the origins of that poll and where it came from. Some other issues I want to go over with you as well today. Portland, Oregon. Uh, well, not not Portland. I don't, let me stay away from Portland. I don't want to talk about that unless we get Dave on here. But Sandy Hook plaintiffs now, apparently, in the lawsuit, are signaling that they're considering, considering, considering a settlement offer. I don't know really what that means. I don't think there should have been an offer made to begin with. We'll talk about some of these things throughout the hour today. Armed American Radio's Daily Defense continues right after this. Make sure not to jump in the pool with your phone. I'm going to a buddy's pool after work today. Make sure I don't have my phone with me. Wouldn't want to hurt it. America was founded through the blood of hard-fighting, hard-drinking men. Men who believed in freedom and whiskey. Who laid down their lives and their fortunes forging the bedrock of this republic and in doing so created a new species of man, the American. Lead Slinger's Whiskey was founded by seven combat veterans who were tired of people afraid to support the Second Amendment. Together, they brought their love of American bourbon whiskey to freedom-loving, like-minded Americans. For more information and to read the story of Lead Slinger's Whiskeys and Rum, visit LeadSlingersWhiskey.com today. AAR self-defense fans, I am extremely excited to be introducing you to the latest, most effective, non-lethal self-defense product I think I've ever seen. It's called the Defense Alert Device, or the DAD, by Tiger Light. When I saw this device, I immediately reached out to the owner. At only 5 inches long and 4.6 ounces, this thing can be openly carried in the palm virtually everywhere. My 18-year-old daughter now carries this thing, as does my wife, consisting of a chemical spray and a powerful 5-mode blinding light. The DAD, when activated, also sends an alert and your GPS location to any of your contacts anywhere in the world alerting them to your situation. This thing is life-saving and can be carried by anybody. Hiking, leaving work, whatever the situation. Check out the Tiger Light, the Tiger Light at TigerLight.net. Use the promo code AAR15 and get 15% off. The first 20 that do that will also get free shipping. This thing is the real deal. My kid carries it. I trust it. You can trust it. TigerLight.net. AAR15. Take 15% off. First 20 of you get free shipping. It's well known that we live in a world where even good police officers can become targets for frivolous lawsuits. At X-Insurance, we provide liability insurance for police officers to eliminate your exposure and to protect you. We're the very best at what we do, and we've been doing it for more than 40 years. We offer same-day quotes and solutions, so call us today or have your insurance agent call us. But call today, and let's get that target off your back. For more information, visit xinsurance.com. That's xinsurance.com. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my new product, My Slippers. They took me over two years to develop because I didn't want just an ordinary slipper. My Slippers are meant to be worn all day long, no matter what you're doing, whether you're inside or outside. My Slippers come with an exclusive three-tier cushioning system that you won't find in any other slipper. It combines two layers of foam, including my proprietary My Pillow foam and a patented impact shell made from U.S. soybeans. My three-tier cushioning system is going to help relieve pressure points, provide that micro support you need for all day comfort and help prevent fatigue. Not only that, my slippers are made with high quality leather and a premium indoor outdoor sole that make them extremely durable. I personally guarantee they're going to be the most comfortable slippers you'll ever own. Hey, it's Mark and you know Mike supports the right to keep and bear arms and we support Mike. Please visit MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener specials box and use promo code AAR for all of Mike's great discounts or call 800-978-9358 and remember use promo code AAR. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun, the incredible M1 carbine, and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. Hey guys, Mark here. No music in the background for this spot. I want you to hear what I'm telling you here. You know from listening to the show that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business. But what you didn't know is that there are now over 6 million registered users. Think about that for a second. 6 million registered users. And it gets better. There are over 1 million. That's 1 million items listed every single day. Every single day. So I promise you that if you can't find it on your store shelves, you'll find it at GunBroker.com. That's GunBroker.com. Go register. It's 100% free.
This upcoming segment of Armed American Radio is being sponsored by GunBroker.com, the world's largest online marketplace to buy and sell firearms, ammo, and related accessories. That's GunBroker.com. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back inside the GunBroker.com studios. With me, I am Mark Walters, filling your prescription for freedom today across the country. Dozens of radio stations tuned in. Some of you live, some of you delayed. I love every single one of you. 1280 The Patriot, how you doing? Minnesota Fair, we're going to talk about you in just a couple minutes. I've been to the fair with you for almost 10 straight years, so hang tight. i got a couple things I want to interject there because they're fighting for the right to carry now at the fair up there. But it's a pleasure to be with you. All of this brought to you today by X Insurance. Daniel Defense, I want to mention again because this is it. This is the last day. Enter to win the Daniel Defense M4A1. The secret code, shh, don't tell anybody, is PATRIOT. The real easy way to do it is visit Armed American News or Armed American Radio. Click on the huge banner. You can't miss it. It takes you to the Daniel Defense Sweepstakes page. There are eight ways to enter. Click the one that says enter secret code. Enter the code PATRIOT. You get 1,000 entries. And this is it. Jump all over it. Please do that. We've got Dave Workman on the line with us. We'll talk more about that in just a couple of moments. We have Dave Workman with us here. Dave was busy. You know, I think what he was doing, I think he had his headphones on. He knew he he was listening to some Rastafari music, maybe some Bob Marley, and he just had to wait until it was over before he could get in with us. And, Dave, I completely understand that. How you doing, brother? Well, listen, you're all wrong. Uh, <laughs> as Governor Jay Inslee has told the world, Washington has the best weed in the world. <laughs> I, well, you know, you got to buy it in up yourself, right? Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, before we got I going. I apologize to all the listeners. I really do. I'm sorry. I got so jammed you, up with get stuff here. When, when Greg said you were jammed up, I said, that's it. He was listening to some roster music. Here's the deal. <laughs> before, uh, and I don't want to mention this to you because you didn't hear it. When I opened up the show today, I was telling the story of uh, what's his name. I see I don't follow basketball, but uh, he is the uh, the for, he's the uh, center for the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Played uh, released on Twitter some really dramatic video footage of his two year old son falling in the pool face first, and him coming out of nowhere and diving in the pool immediately to save him. Wonderful stuff. And the woman who wrote the article for Fox News said he went in fully clothed. I hope he didn't have his phone in his pocket. I'm like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. This is where we're at today, so I ragged that idiotic comment, so you might hear me mention that from time to time. I just want to let you know that's where it came from. Dave, I got started talking about a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff, but your piece in particular, which I loved, and I, I, I didn't talk about this on air because it's really provocative, so I'm glad you're here to help me with it. But 55% of Republicans back potential use of force to preserve American way of life. I thought the number was low. I told listeners before your arrival, if I had, was asked to bet, I would have bet the number at 75% or higher. But what does this tell you? Does this scare you? Does this concern you? Does this excite you? What does this make you feel? Well, Mark, uh, it's funny that you refer to that one. I just got finished uh, maybe 10 minutes ago, and this is what was holding me up. I'm doing a story, and I just uh, posted it on uh, the conservative firing line. Business owners in downtown Portland have hired armed security personnel uh, from, um, well, one or two, maybe three different organizations to patrol their uh, business community because there aren't any police around or not enough police around. It's about damn and time. That that carries through on uh, that that uh, article that I did earlier about the 55 percent of the Republicans think that at some point the American public is going to have to take back their country. And if it, if it requires armed force, according to this Rasmussen survey, that's what they're going to do. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I'll brew up some popcorn and watch from the sidelines and, and write about well, it. But it, 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 this is serious stuff. It really is. And yeah, it is. I don't, it's serious. You, know, you, you can't overstress how important this is. It reflects a, I think, a disappointment and perhaps a, uh, you know, we've reached the point of, well, who cares? You know, this is what we got to do. We've run out of all the other options kind of uh, mentality out there. Um, and, you know, you, you can't dismiss this as just some idle chatter on the Internet. No, no. And you know what's what I'll tell you, 
when I first saw this back, because this originally popped, this Rasmussen poll popped around the last week of July. Yeah. And when I saw this, the first thought that went through my head was, this is a Rasmussen poll. This isn't some white supremacist neo-Nazi website poll. Okay. This is a Rasmussen. This is a legitimate polling organization, as legitimate as they can be. I mean, Rasmussen's got a, a long track record. Uh, I have my druthers with polling. But nonetheless, this is Rasmussen. This is Gallup. This is, you know, this is like Gallup. This is not some fly-by-night, goofball, skinhead, stupid thing rolling around the Internet. This is a Rasmussen poll. And like you, I looked at that. I, I thought, my, and I'm going to be honest with you. My original thought was, that's all? 55%? That's all? I would have guessed that number to be higher. But when you dig into it, and the independents and the others, the number is higher. Because there are there are other people who feel the same way that are with different groups. So you can really jump that number up, probably closer to 70, 70. In some way, shape, or form, people in America, forget the Republican you know, uh, moniker, the Democrat moniker, People in America feel force is going to have to be used to take back this country, and I'm not sure what that means, Dave. Well, it's going to mean a lot of excedrin headaches for a lot of people. <laughs> I can no, guarantee no, that's a that. Fact. Um, when you consider the the uh, implications of a Rasmussen poll, you know, Scott Rasmussen is not a stupid person. Right. He's not going to publish a poll uh, that comes out of La La Land someplace. Uh, and and I, I reiterate, you know, we're talking about serious stuff here. And uh, when you've got a, even 55 percent of likely voters of Americans who, who think that this is a a strong possibility, you better wake up and drink some coffee because uh, this is, you know, we've, we've reached the point, and, and I'll just leave it at that. We have reached the point. Uh, you know, frustration is high. We're not getting any help from the uh, White House. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure if Joe Biden knows what day of the week it is, but uh, that many people saying, you know, yeah. I think we've run out of options here. Uh, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to this. John Petrolino, by the way, I just want to let you know this on the comment section. If you're watching us on Facebook or some of the other apps or or opslens.com, John Petrolino says, "Love hearing from Dave Workman. What a fantastic journalist!" I just wanted you to hear that. That people are commenting on your entry into the program today, and I really well, that, appreciate that, that. John is very kind to me. He's he's uh, he's been he's been awful nice over over the years. You know, well, it's, his it's name good, is it's good to see that. All right, well, here's the deal: we're getting ready to take a break, and I'm gonna I'm gonna close the segment out with this regarding that topic, and we'll go back to that and touch on it. I could easily do an hour on that seg on those two segments and that topic alone, but you know that gut feeling. That you have in your stomach, listeners, viewers, Americans, about things just not being right? How are we going to fix this? What is happening in this country? Guess what? You're not alone. That's what that says. You're not alone. And that gut feeling is echoed by at least 55% of the Republicans who were asked those questions in that recent poll. So don't feel like you're out there by yourself. You're not. But it's frightening. Back after this with Dave Workman. As host of this program, I am proud, very proud, to welcome Daniel Defense to our airwaves. Founded in 2001 by President and CEO Marty Daniel, Daniel Defense is now the world's leading manufacturer of the finest AR-15 style rifles, AR style pistols, bolt action rifles, and accessories for civilian, law enforcement, and military customers. Daniel Defense is a family owned and privately held firearms manufacturer in black at Creek, Georgia, not far from these AAR studios. 20 years of manufacturing freedom has evolved into one of the most respected and recognizable firearms the world has ever seen. All Daniel Defense products carry a lifetime warranty, and the Daniel Defense name remains unmatched in quality, precision, and world-class customer service. To learn more, visit DanielDefense.com. 
That's DanielDefense.com. Hey guys, Mark here, and you know, from listening to the program, you know that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business, but what you might not know is that there are over 6 million registered users. I want you to think about that for a second. 6 million registered users, and it gets better. There are over 1 million, that's 1 million items listed every single day. I know, you can't find what you're looking for on your store shelves. You're no different than I am. I can promise you that what you can't find, you will find at GunBroker.com. It's real simple. GunBroker.com, go there today, register like I did. It's 100% free. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun, the incredible M1 carbine, and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. The North American Arms 32 NAA Guardian Pistol, designed in partnership with Convoy Ammunition. The 32 NAA fires a cartridge based on the 380 case, but neck down to hold the smaller 32 bullet. The result is a remarkable gain in ballistic performance that produces more velocity, energy, and stopping power than any conventional 32 ACP, 380 ACP, or 380 ACP plus P. The 32 NAA from North American Arms. For more information, please visit NorthAmericanArms.com. That's NorthAmericanArms.com. Hi, it's Mark Walters, your host of Armed American Radio. If your company sells only the highest quality products and you're looking for a way to reach these listeners, you're talking to the right guy. Armed American Radio has a package available to fit every budget, from startup to the seasoned advertiser looking for that perfect way to reach this massive audience on roughly 250 stations in the top markets in the nation. We're everywhere, and the show continues to explode across the country after 10 years. Together, we can help you reach a highly engaged and extremely knowledgeable audience. To hear your brand on this huge radio program for less than you ever thought possible and to speak directly with me, reach out to CCW Broadcast Media LLC right away at mark at armedamericanradio.org. Mark at armedamericanradio.org. And together, we'll bring your brand to Armed American Radio listeners and keep this powerful voice for gun rights on the airwaves. Again, to speak directly to me, reach out to me at mark at armedamericanradio.org. That's mark at armedamericanradio.org. Defender Coffee was created by patriots for patriots. It's coffee for Americans devoted to defending the Second Amendment. It's coffee for Americans who understand that if you don't fight for your freedom, you lose it. That's why Defender Coffee donates profits to gun rights organizations that fight to defend the Second Amendment. When you drink Defender Coffee, every single cup defends your right to keep and bear arms. Visit DefenderCoffee.com today and get free shipping when you join the coffee club. DefenderCoffee.com. The following segment of Armed American Radio is being brought to you by Defender Coffee. When you drink Defender Coffee, you're making a donation to a gun rights organization of your choice that protects and defends your freedoms. Welcome back to the show. Ah, Welcome back, indeed. Fun program today. Some fun topics to cover. Scary topics. Because I bet you never thought in your lifetime we'd be talking about this together. I didn't. I never thought when I was growing up, living my life in America... On a very diversified street. I didn't have to call it a diversified street. It just was. It was just America. I lived next door to Schumitz and Gupta. We played when we were little kids, right? I I got into fights when I was in school with black kids, white kids. I mean, we were all hung out together. We all did things. We all played football together. Nobody thought anything of it. But now everybody's got to break everybody up into little groups, even though we didn't. I never thought we'd be here today. Never thought we'd be here talking about these things today. And it is, it's it's disconcerting, no question about it. But it has taken us 245 years of our history to get to this point. And unfortunately, we are talking about it. Technology that is destroying the nation, and it is. I've said this for many, many years. These stupid things like, God, I hope he didn't have his phone in his pocket while he was saving his son's life. Oh, idiot. But that's how the dependence on these things that some people feel instantaneous information. Dave Workman, jump back in here with me. Instantaneous information coming at us. Good, bad, ugly instantly. And And the ability to respond with hate and these social media platforms. We are not in a good place, brother. 
No, we're not. And uh, to be, you know, honestly, a lot of that information that comes at us, you know, being, being an old news hack as I am, <laughs> I see this stuff 24-7, 365. Everybody wants to be first. It really doesn't matter if they're correct or not anymore. But they want to be first because there's more drama in being first. And I can't – in fact, I've lost count of the number of times a story has broken over the years, whether it's about guns or the economy or coronavirus or all, any of that stuff, where the initial reports have subsequently turned out to be absolutely wrong. And uh, we, we see this in uh, – uh, well, in fact, I, I think one of the worst examples is when uh, uh, that moron tried to assassinate President Reagan, mm -hmm. and uh, the networks uh, started declaring that James Brady – uh, his press secretary at the time uh, had been killed. Well, Brady was very much alive. He was yeah, in pretty yeah. damn bad shape. But imagine how his family must have felt hearing yeah. on national TV instead of from a knock on the door, hey, Dad's not coming home tonight. Uh, you know, that would bother me a lot, too. And, and, and Dave, keep in mind that that was back in the quote-unquote olden days yeah. of technology. I mean, look where we've come from there. Oh yeah, right. And now you know, when, when you, you can throw read a newspaper hatred on, on your telephone, it, it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Well, yeah, but but what even worse when you can go to a cesspool like Twitter, a cesspool, yeah. and read instantaneous hatred, and it trends, and they let it trend, you know, trending. Okay, what does that mean? It means they they open up the the highway for everybody to see it instead of keeping it hidden from most people. They just open it up and let these tweets and these hashtags trend or these pound signs, I like to say, trend. But, yeah, and it's and it's filled with this vile, despicable hatred. And in large part, it's one sided. Mm -hmm. It's liberal hatred towards conservatives. Hence why I thought that number was a little bit low. I, and I don't mean that in a sense that, you know, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, we're, we're war, war mongering and we're not. We're just reporting on what the poll said. Well, I tell you what, let's put this in uh, maybe a different perspective. Republicans, conservatives, they have quite a bit more self-control than the loony left that <laughs> thought it was great when uh, uh, Antifa was burning down cities last year. Uh, you know, fortunately, uh, gun owners, uh, the American gun owner, has a lot more self-control than we're ever given credit for. Well, let's go to the bumper sticker on that. How about how about it, listener, shall we? Here's where Dave's going with that. And I know this because great minds think alike. <laughs> I can hear it. I'll say it. And I hate bumper sticker logic until it makes really good sense. If 150 million gun owners were a problem, pal, you'd already know it. Isn't that what you're saying, Dave, in a nutshell? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, I think you and I have, uh, have said this on the air before. If if all the guns in the United States were as bad as the far left says they are, you'd see it on the front page of every oh, yeah. newspaper above the fold every day of the week. Yeah, and you know there still isn't above the fold. Yeah. You're still reading your paper on one of these stupid things, okay? And yeah, yeah of course, it, I, I, am, I admit I'm dating myself by talking about newspapers that, no, that you can no. buy off a magazine rack. But. No, no, we still use that same, look, I read the Epic Times newspaper. Yeah. I, I get the, because I love, my wife and I, they call it old school, but there's something relaxing about sitting in the recliner once a week and reading the newspaper. I mean, it is, you know, you know the news you're getting is five days old, but that's because of the technology. But the, the speed and the, 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 the instant well, it's the proliferation of hate, I guess, I don't know of any other way to say it, is doing well, tremendous, tremendous damage to the psyche of the nation, and it is, it is not fixable. I don't see light at the end of this tunnel, Dave. I don't know how we get out of it, which is why when I see a column like that, it's not something I spent a lot of time on. But this program has flirted with that over the years. You and I have flirted with it over the years without even coming out and saying it. And then Rasmussen comes out with this poll and kind of lends uh, a little bit of uh, credibility, if you will, to uh, our thought process. I found it fascinating, quite frankly. Well, I think we've reached 
a, a well perilous times in the United States. I, I really honestly do, and I, I say that with all sadness. Uh, you know, I grew up in a country where you know the weekends were filled with baseball games or football yeah. games, hot dogs and picnics, you know, all of that stuff. You'd go to the park, you'd meet new friends, you'd say, hey, you want to play catch? Yeah, you know, do – and everybody got along together. It was a marvelous time, uh, and then something happened. And I think what happened is, sadly – uh, a great deal media driven because the media right, thrives on conflict. Bingo. We we've gotten into a a situation where it's it's just great to promote uh, kind of uh, uncivil civil war, uh, and you know you reap what you sow. Well, Dave, the media found like you. I'm I'm a huge media critic, as you know, as you are too. But what happened when you said something happened? It happened really. It busted wide open. It began happening with the advent of CNN. Hindsight is twenty twenty. I say advent, but twenty four hour news. CNN was the first one out there doing the twenty four hour news. People were glued to it. People, yeah. I remember coming home from college on a weekend and was glued to it. Okay, but we you know didn't know CNN then what we know for? now. You know what um, CNN stands for? FCC regulations. Please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with it, but be careful. It's the Conflict News Network. Well, they're sewing it very, very well. And I think it's interesting because hindsight is always crystal clear. It's easy to look in the rearview mirror and see what happened. But that was really the beginning of the 24-hour news cycle back around 1980. Then you have the advent of this technology in the mid-'90s, which put that on steroids. And now the media was enabled to do what they've always wanted to do, and that's sow conflict and controversy. And do it immediately, instantaneously. And that's overwhelming to, a, to not just Americans, but people. It's overwhelming to our brains. It's overwhelming to our psyches. And here we find ourselves now with social media, literally the gas can on top of that pyre. It's like a funeral pyre. Dave, we're getting ready to take a break. Fascinating conversation. I wish I could keep you another two hours, but my producer Greg says we only have one segment left, and I'm going to have to believe him. <laughs> what a loser! <wuss. laughs> what a <wuss. laughs> loser! Yeah, I'm just kidding, Greg. I'm just kidding. Don't don't yeah, turn the show Greg. But <laughs> we'll be back with Dave Workman for one more fascinating segment right after this. Don't go away. As host of this program, I am proud, very proud, to welcome Daniel Defense to our airwaves. Founded in 2001 by President and CEO Marty Daniel, Daniel Defense is now the world's leading manufacturer of the finest AR-15 style rifles, AR style pistols, bolt action rifles, and accessories for civilian, law enforcement, and military customers. Daniel Defense is a family owned and privately held firearms manufacturer in black Creek, Georgia, not far from these AAR studios. 20 years of manufacturing freedom has evolved into one of the most respected and recognizable firearms the world has ever seen. All Daniel Defense products carry a lifetime warranty, and the Daniel Defense name remains unmatched in quality, precision, and world-class customer service. To learn more, visit DanielDefense.com. That's DanielDefense.com. Car, the 25th anniversary K9 and the venerable P9 in various configurations. Magnum Research, the classic Desert Eagle available in 50, 44, 357, and the new 429 DE calibers. The BFR, biggest, finest revolvers, and the Magnum Light. Auto Ordnance, the classics. Thompson, that's right, the Tommy Gun. The incredible M1 carbine and the one and only classic 1911. Car Firearms, a family of brands standing for your family's freedom. 
the North American Arms 32 NAA Guardian pistol, designed in partnership with Convoy Ammunition. The 32 NAA fires a cartridge based on the 380 case, but neck down to hold the smaller 32 bullet. The result is a remarkable gain in ballistic performance that produces more velocity, energy, and stopping power than any conventional 32 ACP, 380 ACP, or 380 ACP plus P. The 32 NAA from North American Arms. For more information, please visit NorthAmericanArms.com. That's NorthAmericanArms.com. Hey guys, it's Mark, and you know, from listening to the program, you're very well aware that our partner, GunBroker.com, is celebrating over 20 years in business, but what you didn't know is there are now over 6 million registered users. 6 million registered users. Think about that for a second. And it gets better, because those 6 million registered users can view over 1 million items listed every single day. 1 million items every single day. I promise that what you can't find on your store shelves, you can find at GunBroker.com. And you will. It's real simple to register. Visit GunBroker.com today to get started. 100% free. Always will be. It's well known that we live in a world where even good police officers can become targets for frivolous lawsuits. At X Insurance, we provide custom liability insurance for police officers to eliminate your exposure, to help prevent you from becoming a target, and to protect you from unscrupulous lawyers. And if lawsuits do arise, we aggressively fight them. We do this in part by encouraging our law enforcement clients to take the X Insurance See It, Say Something pledge. We're the very best at what we do, and we've been doing it for more than 40 years. We offer same day quotes and solutions, so call us today or have your insurance agent call us, and we can work with them to fill any gaps in your existing insurance policy. But call today, and let's get that target off your back. At X Insurance, we believe in good police officers, and we believe in protecting good police officers. For more information, visit xinsurance.com. That's xinsurance.com. America was founded through the blood of hard-fighting, hard-drinking men. Men who believe in freedom and whiskey. Who laid down their lives and their fortunes forging the bedrock of this republic and in doing so created a new species of man, the American. Lead Slinger's Whiskey was founded by seven combat veterans who were tired of people afraid to support the Second Amendment. Together, they brought their love of American bourbon whiskey to freedom-loving, like-minded Americans. For more information and to read the story of Lead Slinger's Whiskeys and Rum, visit LeadSlingersWhiskey.com today. This segment of Armed American Radio's Daily Defense is being brought to you by Daniel Defense. Visit DanielDefense.com. Now, back to the show. And, you know, you can visit DanielDefense.com right through my websites, Armed American Radio and Armed American News, by clicking on the Daniel Defense banner and entering the code PATRIOT to win that beautiful rifle. I bought that rifle, the DDM4A1, about three weeks ago. And they're building it, and the ship date is about was ninety days out from the time that I from the time that I ordered the rifle. I can't wait to get it. I spent some time on the range today, and had a great time. I was sans that rifle because I don't have it yet. But I took my new Canic out, which I picked up yesterday. The Elite Combat. I'll tell you about that. And I also got that burst of BP nine CC out. I put several hundred rounds through, and we'll talk about that on another show. But the point that I'm making is that rifle. Oh, if I had that, I'd spent the whole hour talking with you about that today. You have a chance to win this thing free. We're giving you an opportunity. Daniel Defense and Armed American Radio's partnership is just beginning, and this is how we're kicking it off. The the code, the, the secret code is PATRIOT. Armed American News, Armed American Radio, click the banner, go there, enter the code. You get 1,000 entries. Please don't waste this opportunity. There's one day left. This is it. I'll be announcing the winner on Sunday. And I want it to be an Armed American Radio listener. Don't forget the rest of our partners, Lead Slingers Whiskey, Tiger Light, that great defense uh, 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 alert device, the defending alert device, the dad, TigerLight.net, TigerLight.net. Make sure to check it out. Use the promo code AAR15, get 15% off. My daughter and my wife carry it. You can trust it, I promise you. X Insurance sponsors all of this. Meet us at the booth, 2057 in Houston. X and I will be there, the CEO, and we will have a lot of personalities from the show coming and going. It's going to be a great time. More about that as we approach the weekend, Labor Day weekend. MyPillow.com, his sales are going through the roof. None of the wackos can prove him wrong, so they just don't let him hear. They don't let you hear him. I love it. (laughs) Promo code is AAR. Buy a set of slippers and use the AAR Pro Gun Code. Stuff it right down there next. Car Arms, GunBroker.com Studios. 
to 100% free Defender Coffee. Drink coffee, support the Second Amendment. Promo code is AAR. And, of course, Car Arms, North American Arms, and Bursa. Let's go back to Dave Workman, journalist extraordinaire. Dave, I got to tell you something. This just popped up on me right now. I just got the alert. And, boy, does this tie into what we were talking about in the first segment. Good heavens, I wish we had another hour. Majority of registered Democrats prefer socialism to capitalism. This is a Fox News poll. The poll taken between August 7th and 10th shows 59% of registered Democrat voters participated, has a positive, had a positive view of socialism compared to just 49% who felt that way about capitalism. We are headed down a very dangerous path, and I'll tell you why, Dave. And I, I, Listeners, I think I speak for probably most of you. I will not live under socialist rule. I will not live in a socialist country. I can promise you that. Dave, take it away. This is frightening stuff, brother. I saw that poll. I was actually going to write about it today, but I think I'll leave Mm. it until tomorrow. Let it kind of settle in my stomach for a while. But uh, it is an alarming poll. The one thing that the Democrats did with that survey was they just told the whole country where they want to take us. And fortunately, the majority of this country doesn't want to make that trip. And I'm just, you know, I, I, I can only be so blunt so many times, but most of the people in the United States are going to tell them to take a hike. And I think it's going to start uh, with the, the 2022 midterm elections. God, I hope uh, you're right. Well, you know, I think Nancy Pelosi is either going to retire or be applying for a job at McDonald's. And that's, I hope that's you're right. I and uh, uh, Let me tell you why I think you're right. If history, we can use history to judge, and we can. We can. It's like a, it's like a credit report. I'm sorry. If you've had a 20-year history of bad credit, you know, don't expect to be getting a, a, a good rate. It's not going to happen. The fact that Pelosi is out there telling you she's confident she's going to win, uh, keep the House in 2022, tells you everything you need to know about her confidence in keeping the House in 2022. It's non-existent. That's hey, why she's doing it. Refrigerator full of designer ice cream. I was yeah. my case. <laughs> you know, just... Well, you know, I just spent, I spent a lot of time with my dad and uh, at an at an orthopedic surgeon over yeah. the last couple of days in the morning. He, my dad's eighty two years old. You know what? He's retired. You know what, Pelosi? Take the hint. Get the hell out of Dodge. Leave America alone. The, the rest of you too. Is there a Schumer? The rest of them. Is there a reset coming? I think so. I hate to use that word reset because it reminds me of that. Hillary Clinton, that every time I even see her, I feel like i got to take a shower. But there is something coming to this country that I don't think many folks are – I think many folks who are, who are walking around with blinders on are going to be shocked to see what happens, Dave. Well, you know, they're, they're going to be surprised, especially as it's happening, because a lot of those people on the left who keep – Pushing. They, they're pushing the envelope. They, they talk about, let's defund the police. We can see what's going on in Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, mm-hmm. and, and New York, and, and a lot of other places. Uh, defund the police. That's, that's really their, their battle cry. They, they want to uh, reshape America. You know, when, when Barack Obama was running, I remember there was a speech that he made, uh, and it just kind of resonates in the back of my gray matter. This is the greatest country. Let's change it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The you know, the whole, you, the whole you motif know. was changed. You're right. Why do you, what's with this change? What do you need to change? Maybe we need to fix things as we progress. Okay, there are, you know, look, I'm all for that. That, that we, There are. No one's perfect. I go back to the quote from the, from the Chicago, and boy, I didn't get a chance to talk with you about Chicago, Dave, because the come to Jesus moment in Chicago is upon us. Yeah. When you have Jerry McCarthy, the former police superintendent who I ragged on on this show, who earned it, this political hack he was, is now out there defending those cops and in Lori Lightfoot's face. <clears throat> I'll take that as the fact that I was right, Jerry. But nonetheless, that come to Jesus moment is happening in Chi-Town as we speak. Failed policies on full display. 100 years of rule. On display, can't argue that anymore. 
It's not it's not leadership. It's failureship is what I was calling it the other day. Dave, I've got to ask you, is there any possibility you can come back tomorrow and close the week out with me on Friday? I'd be delighted. We've got too much to talk about with Dave Workman here. We're not going to get to anywhere near what we want. Now, I want to tell you, this is why when I call Dave and say, hey, bro, can you give me a half hour? And Dave says, no way. I said, well, you don't have enough time? He goes, no, that's not enough time. We need at least the hour. Now you know why. Because you've got some other pieces up here that we haven't even gotten to yet that we have to get to. And these conversations are too important. Dave, I want my listeners across the country to hear your positions on what's happening in Chicago. And I've been calling it the come to Jesus moment, and I really truly believe it is, not just for Chi-Town, but for the nation as a whole. Would you agree with that? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, we, we are at a a tipping point, and uh, let's just hope that uh, we're not like uh, uh, some people think we're going to tip to the left. We better not tip to the left because the results of something like that could be disastrous. You know, we're yeah. over, here we, you know, here we are seven months into the Biden administration. Gas is costing a buck more a gallon than it did last year. We've got uh, people who are, uh, you know, they're unemployed. We've got a homeless problem. You know, the professional homeless are well, out there. Well, this guy's begging he, OPEC, the cartel. Yeah. Think about that. The cartel. What do yeah. we call the Mexican drug lords? cartels can you put two and two together here folks listen here's the deal biden's begging the saudis to increase oil greg abbott in texas said if you'll get out of the way texas can handle the situation there's the lines are being drawn in the sand and we can see where they're at dave workman i love you we've pushed it to the limit enjoy the rest of your day we'll see dave tomorrow see you on the radio You've just filled your prescription for freedom with Mark Walters, presented by X-Insurance. X-Insurance. On the Armed American Radio Network. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm excited to announce my new product, My Slippers. They took me over two years to develop because I didn't want just an ordinary slipper. My Slippers are meant to be worn all day long, no matter what you're doing, whether you're inside or outside. My Slippers come with an exclusive three-tier cushioning system that you won't find in any other slipper. It combines two layers of foam, including my proprietary My Pillow foam and a patented impact gel made from U.S. soybeans. My three-tier cushioning system is going to help relieve pressure points, provide that micro support you need for all day comfort and help prevent fatigue. Not only that, my slippers are made with high quality leather and a premium indoor outdoor sole that make them extremely durable. I personally guarantee they're going to be the most comfortable slippers you'll ever own. Hey, it's Mark and you know Mike supports the right to keep and bear arms and we support Mike. Please visit MyPillow.com and click on the radio listener specials box and use promo code AAR for all of Mike's great discounts or call 800-978-9358 and remember use promo code AAR. It's the Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Needs. I'm Alan Gottlieb, founder of the Second Amendment Foundation. When someone says, we don't need that kind of gun, remind them the Founding Fathers determined what rights our Constitution should protect. There's a world of difference between rights and needs. It is not the function of government to tell us what we need or what we don't. Certainly no one needs an assault rifle or a Saturday Night Special, or for that matter, no one needs a Corvette with a high-capacity horsepower engine capable of speeds to 150 miles per hour. But in the hands of honest, responsible individuals, we have the right of choice. We have the right to read books others don't like. We have the right to listen to any radio program we choose. We have the right to dress the way we want to. We also have the right to own firearms of our choice. So the next time someone tells you, you don't need something, tell them. It's the Bill of Rights, not the Bill of Needs. Join the Second Amendment Foundation today so that this message and our Bill of Rights might live. Call 425-454-7012. That's 425 Four five four seventy twelve.